pulled from the foundation at a Chase Bank. Another ATM has been stolen. Saginaw Township Police say they are investigating this ATM theft. According to police, this happened at the Bay Road Chase Bank around 2.30 this morning. Police say they found an ATM left in the parking lot still attached to chains in the trailer hitch of a stolen vehicle of a stolen truck. According to police, no cash was stolen from the ATM. At this time, suspects are not in custody. Saginaw Township Police say they are working with other agencies who are looking into similar ATM thefts across mid-Michigan. Last week, we told you about the Genesee County Sheriff's Office. They were looking into multiple ATM thefts. The Chase Bank in Fenton Township had their ATM yanked from the foundation. The Sheriff's Office says they believe it is a two people in a truck using chains to rip them out. One stolen truck was recovered last week in Genesee County. But criminals are trying to illegally withdraw cash or illegally steal cash from machines. They're taking them and cutting them open, according to law enforcement. You might see a lot of things. But you're not supposed to have a beat up ATM in the back of a pickup truck. That's what criminals were allegedly trying to do at this Chase Bank in Fenton Township Monday. Genesee County Sheriff Chris Watson says they chained up the ATM, then tried to drag it away. But things probably didn't go as planned. What we figure is they actually got so distracted it didn't come off the way they wanted to. They just dumped the machine. He says this isn't the first incident like this. A team of people going out ripping off ATMs throughout Genesee County and all of mid-Michigan. The sheriff says besides banks, ATM thieves are targeting party stores and other businesses. And then they're taking them to different locations. They're caught them with a torch and they're taking the money inside. He says investigators believe that at least two people were involved in Monday's crime. He says the getaway pickup truck was stolen from Flushing the night before. And that truck was recovered behind a church right on Fenton Road, just north of Fenton City. Now, of course, at the time of the crime, that was a suspect vehicle, but it's not now. Why should ATM thefts matter to you? Swanson says they could affect your service and maybe even your pockets. It's like shoplifting. You know, it's a big deal because if a store loses a quarter million a year because of, of theft, they're not going to eat that cost. It goes back into prices. Now, this ATM didn't make it very far, but please say if you ever see one in the back of a pickup truck to call law enforcement immediately. Swanson says they are still looking for the people responsible for this crime. He is going to jail potentially because a judge found him in contempt of court in a legal dispute over property with his own sons. Off the beaten path in Emory County, the cattle graze. I always had to work. And 86-year-old Kerwin Jensen takes stock. This this farm goes see way out there, them hills were farm. He says he bought land decades ago, worked it hard, and roped family into the business. That ranch is worth 15 million bucks. In a legal fight over control of land and expensive equipment, Jensen sued two sons and a couple of related entities in a case that went to mediation. So if you had to explain to people what this dispute is all about. Jealousy. jealousy. Greedy and jealousy. Finally, a settlement signed by son defendants and signed by dad. Did you know what you were signing? No, I didn't. Not really, I didn't. And, and had you known... Yeah, they never signed up. For not complying with judicial orders surrounding settlement terms, this rancher is branded with contempt and may be exchanging jeans for a jumpsuit. 30 days in jail is really a lot. Attorney David Ferguson directs the Utah Association of Criminal Defense okay. Lawyers and has practiced civil law. I haven't heard of something like this happening except in a few other rare ex uh, rare exceptional circumstances. The prospect of an extended stay with no open spaces is a burr in Jensen's saddle. Hell no, I don't think I ought to go to jail. I think I ought to have everything. <laughs> Jensen says he has diabetes, has fought cancer, has had three heart attacks. The judge is Jeremiah Humes. We tried to reach out to the judge through the Utah State Office of the Courts. It says judges cannot comment on pending cases, but it seems, according to the court record, the judge may have given Jensen chances to comply. Also reached out to an attorney for the Sun defendants. No comment there. Kerwin Jensen has another hearing scheduled for tomorrow where he may learn for certain if he's going to jail at age 86.
5 o'clock and we're still seeing long lines at the security checkpoints. But the good news is they are nowhere near what some travelers saw this morning. Now, with all of the events over the weekend, the airport says that TSA checked in nearly 9,000 travelers before 8 a.m. on Sunday and another 8,000 this morning. Now, several images appeared showing long lines at the terminal this morning. The lines have gone down since that time, but the airport says that people should plan to arrive at least two hours early through April. They told us that they hope to soon fill 80 new positions to help with staffing. Well, it's long, but I was here on the Sunday after South by Southwest, and it was pretty four or five times longer than today. The airport is also dealing with a fuel shortage. Today, they're asking airlines to load more fuel into the aircraft than they typically would. And the airport is planning to build a new jet fuel facility this spring to keep up with expansion efforts, though neighbors have had concerns on that in the past. And there are three security checkpoints open at the airport today. And